dear students welcome to baidu's exam prep hope you guys are fine so guys in today's session i'll be talking regarding drip irrigation system so guys many of you are quite aware but you i don't think you have the complete knowledge or i'll be telling you some additional things like you can assemble drip irrigation locally in your level for your plants as well what is drip irrigation it's functioning working and how can you employ it at your home let's find it out but before that Let's have a quick look at some of the things, and these are that you can know about me if you haven't gone through about me. And there's a scholarship test, national scholarship test. You can get discounts up to ninety percent, and this test is free of cost on sixteenth April at twelve p.m. Coming up next is you can join my Telegram group for further upcoming sessions, quiz, and everything. Last but not the least, if you are planning for grade, then e-book link is in the description. Okay, now we'll be talking about drip irrigation. We'll be talking about drip irrigation. So, guys, actually, drip irrigation. Many students don't know what happens is you can apply it at your farms for sure. <coughs> But you know that. <coughs> Excuse me. Drip irrigation occurs naturally also. So technically, there is a natural method. There is an in you can say human or man-made method which we do it or artificial to be precise. Artificial that is humans human intervention is there. So what happens is whenever you talk about naturally things happening, natural subsurface irrigation because here we call it drip irrigation as a subsurface irrigation because water is directly applied to the root zone of the crops. Now, ma'am. we understand that you basically assembled a network of pipes which you can see it here i'll play this video again so this videos i have taken it from google only so here you can see water there is a network of pipes which is being installed and drip by drip it is directly applied to the root zone of the crops so ma'am with the help of pipes we can somehow relate but how does it happens naturally so what happens dear whenever there is a difference in energy energy we can report in terms of head also head is energy per unit weight so whenever there is a difference in head water flows obviously from a higher head to a lower head so because of difference in energy when water flows from a higher head to lower head water seeps through it so it is a natural process by which water goes into the root zone of the crops however the magnitude the quantity is not that much sufficient and that is the reason we go for drip irrigation now ma'am why is the name drip been there why don't we have given another name so you know guys you would have seen it in the hospitals and all whenever any patient is there and the means that needle is inserted and you have uh, uh, that saline bottle and all those things so it drip by drip so we generally say that drip 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 chadi hai we say like that okay so that is going drip by drip drop by drop okay or you also call it as trickle irrigation because tick 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 say each and every drop is just going drop by drop it's not that in a half a hazard manner or a large quantity of water is coming at a single time no the water flows by drip by drip okay slowly gently ma why why don't we allow a large water because that time if you apply such a large amount of water obviously the plants will die you cannot apply over water that is not desired by the plants or the crops okay so now what happens here we directly apply water to the root zone of the crops and here the diameter pipes we don't provide a bigger diameter pipes small diameter pipes we provide it and you have here emitters nozzles you can see it here and from here water is supplied So I'll play this video once again, so you can see it here. You can see it here. So drop by drop, water directly goes into the root zone of the crops. Okay. So you have emitter, you have dripper, you have nozzles with which you can apply. Now comes the next thing. Now comes the next thing. How much water rate it is applied? So it is applied at a rate of twenty to ten liters per hour. So if you want to know, you can see it here in this. See. drip by drip it is getting applied so it is applied at 20 10 20 liters per hour it is applied so that the water which is present inside the soil is it present within the desired limits okay it should not get exceeded and it should not result in water logging in the coming future or there shouldn't be any damage to the crops so that is the reason we supply water at a lower rate getting it now coming further 
coming further to the next one ma'am uh, does it has a very higher efficiency yes you get efficiency up to 90% so out of all the subsurface irrigation methods you talk about the irrigation efficiency of drip irrigation is the highest it is up to 90% ma'am is there any added benefits which you get yes here you get that losses like seepage like evaporation are minimized are minimized so that is the thing which you will get to know that is the thing which you will get to know okay because see efficiency reduces when losses are low if you are able to encounter the losses obviously efficiency will increase so this is the thing which you should know about it okay next coming further next coming further is as i told you evaporation and seepage losses and you can see it here water is moving so for the better understanding this video is there water is moving and it seeps okay it seeps through the directly to the root zones of the crops so this happens here and uh, now you will say ma'am obviously it will be costly yeah because you are assembling a network of pipes and all so de definitely first of all you don't do it on those areas where you require a large amount of water like for paddy that is rice and all you don't do it. basically use drip irrigations you can but uh, we don't uh, generally prefer uh, this is best suitable when you know that places where there is scanty of rainfall the rainfall does not take place or even very less rainfall takes place in arid zones or semi arid zones you can prefer drip irrigation and for those crops which have a higher value that you can sell it uh, at the farms and all those things sellers in the market and all you can apply this method yeah it is costly but if you talk about the efficiency wise yeah boom it will it's a good one to assemble it okay now as i know that losses are reduced or almost eliminated because see here it is throwing the closed pipes so evaporation losses you are not flooding the entire field you are not doing nothing like that so obviously evaporation loss and all are being reduced but the question comes that ma'am you told that we can also apply it directly at a home we can also create it so what i did is you can uh, check it out in the sunday ka funda video i'll give you a quick glimpse of it i took a bottle i turned it over and i cut the part half of it i filled the water and the nozzle the cap of it i just uh, with the help of candle and uh, wire i created a hole and i put a cotton bud in that and i turned it like this upside down so what happens the water was going through that cotton bud drip by drip and i inserted it in my vase in my plant okay so this i did because i have to go for 2 3 days out and i was not i didn't had anybody to say to the neighbors and all that please water my plants so is the better way i did it and when i came back after 3 days my plants were not dead they were alive so you can do it in your local level also drip irrigation but in a vast scale obviously here you are having a network of pipes perforated pipes water will apply directly to the root zone of the crop efficiency will increase yield of the crops will also increase okay so that's all guys this is regarding drip irrigation so i guess you understood it regarding this all regarding the drip irrigation okay assembled it efficiency like when you talk about surface irrigation sprinkler irrigation efficiency is high when you talk about sub surface irrigation drip irrigation or you call it by another na name trickle irrigation its efficiency is high so i guess not clear yeah the pipes are placed above the ground but the water is applied directly to the root zone of the crops okay so that's all for today guys take care of yourself but before that scholarship test do give the test link is in the description and upcoming sessions are we have already dealt with types of soil water drip irrigation i have told you sprinkler irrigation we'll be having in the next session which i'll be telling you its function and working and after that we'll be having top 10 numericals regarding irrigation in so that's all for today guys take care of yourself bye bye and study hard